Here is an interesting question to solve on exponential equations. Write exponents with common base and then solve. Square root of 1024 to the power of x equals to 4 to the power of 2x minus 3. Now in such questions what we should do is we should write them in the exponent form. Now the left side can be written with a rational exponent. We can write this as 1024 to the power of x over 2, right? Square root is half, correct? So which is 4 to the power of 2x minus 3. Now 1024 is 2 to the power of 10. So we can write this as 2 to the power of 10 to the power of x over 2 equals to 4 could also be written as 2 to the power of 2, right? So we'll write 4 as 2 to the power of 2 times 2x minus 3, right? Now if you simplify this using the power of power rule, then you get 2 to the power of it, it is actually, let me first write 10x over 2 and the next statement equation I will simplify it. And here we have 2 to the power of, let's multiply them and get 4x minus 6. And when we simplify left side, we get 2 to the power of 5x equals to 2 to the power of 4x minus 6. Now you can see we have written the given equation with common base, the common base is 2. Since the base is same, we can equate the exponents and solve for x. So let's do that part now. So we have 5x equals to 4x minus 6. Now this is a linear equation in x which can be solved. Let's bring all the terms to the left side. So we get 5x minus 4x plus 6 equals to 0. 5x minus 4x is x, so we get x plus 6 equals to 0. Now we can take away 6 from both sides and we get x equals to minus 6 as our solution, right? So that is how we can solve these equations. Now what you can do as a part is to check whether this is the right solution or not. So by substituting back the value of x as minus 6 in your equation and see for yourself if it is right or wrong. But let's go through the steps once again. If you are given an equation with radicals, it's good to write them as exponents. Once you write them as exponents, then the next step should be find common base. 2 is a common base for both of them, and that is why we wrote both parts of the equation, left and right side, with base of 2. And then, once we have the same base, then the exponents can be equated and the variable can be solved. So that is how we should solve such equations. I hope that helps you. Thank you.